Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Miss Lena's Kitchen. If it's morning, noon, and night, so welcome, welcome any time of the day that you might see this video. Uh, I'm coming to you today, and I'm going to read my scripture. It's coming from Isaiah 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faith, and them that have no might, he increases their strength. Very positive. The Lord forsaketh not his saints. God always take care of his saints. All right. Psalms 37, 28. This is the verse for today and my scripture reading for today. Uh, I'm getting ready to make today. I'm going to be making a uh, dressing uh, with, the, with my turkey necks. And I will be, I'm making turkey neck dressing today. So Turkey I'm necks. She's making turkey necks and dressing. Huh? She's making turkey necks and dressing, everybody. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so uh, I'm getting started. I've already made my cornbread. And I'm just using basically one of my uh, dressing that I already have on, the, on one of my videos. But I also, I did like three packages of uh, cornbread mix. And I have like, and I did four pieces of toast. I... I got, oh, got some bread and I just toasted it up and I broke it off in here. But I didn't, I've already put the other three in here. But I want you to see me to do the other, this other last one that I have. I'm just basically breaking it up in here. So now I'm going to have my, okay, I'm going to have to put just a little bit of, uh, of chicken broth in here right now to get started. Okay. Just kind of wetting my bread up a little bit. Okay. I do have some, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna use this stuff to start with. And I do have some more of uh, a bottle of broth. I need taking it out of the freezer mm -hmm. okay so this is just a little bit of chicken broth that I have here now now I did cook some turkey broth the other day but I do have it and I didn't take it out of the freezer okay so now okay I'm going to be putting my uh, ingredients in this is, uh, complete. Everybody, y'all, everybody seasons this on to what you like for yourself. For your seasoning, rather. This time, mine always end up about one fourth cup. And so, this is my onion, uh, got onion powder, so. Garlic powder. Black pepper. Damn, hold on. Sorry, y'all. We got one little nit bug flying around here. We're trying to get. Tell them they're really bad this time of year because of the. I got it. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to set that down. And in here, I'm going to be putting in. This is my cream of chicken soup. And I also have, okay, this uh, 
the onion soup mix. Okay, Lipton. This time I do have a name brand. Normally I use a store brand, but I happen to have a name brand this time. Okay, and this is my uh, cream of celery. And also, cream of mushroom. Hmm. Yeah, this recipe been in her family for years. And also, creams of chicken soups was made. The first one made it. Oh, thanks. Okay, now I have a, my sauteed my. My celery and everything, so. Y'all, that's a cup of Trinity, uh, probably a cup and a half, maybe a little bit more of onions, bell peppers, and celery. And she have green bell peppers, yellow, and uh, red bell peppers. <clears throat> and also, as we always say, if you want sage and uh, uh, <clears throat> chicken, poultry seasoning, season, put... Feel free to put it in there. She can't use it because it give an acid reflex real bad. Reflux. That's why she don't use it. All right. Everybody's allergy for to use whatever you prefer. You can put whatever okay. seasoning in it. She's just doing, um, making it how she makes it. And I have to eat some of this myself, so I don't use it. She never have had a complaint, y'all. She have sold pans and pans and pans of it. Without the, the portrait and the celery season in it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put, uh, Finish this a little later. Push. I'm gonna push this back for a minute or two and get and get, uh, get this other broth off. Okay. Okay. Now I'll be uh, dropping the other turkey next. I've already got them washed and clean. Okay, I'm putting my seasoning in here now. Garlic powder. Onion powder mix. Okay. Black pepper mix. Yeah, she's putting a uh, Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay. Oh. Trying to focus y'all. Okay, there it is. Chesapeake Bay seasoning. Okay. All right now. It was probably about a tablespoon full. She has onions and bell peppers and and uh, celery in there already. Okay. And I'm gonna put the other package of uh, the Lipton soup.
Okay, y'all, we'll be back in a minute. She's going to put it over there in the, um, <clears throat> in the Instant Pot. In the Instant Pot. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. Thank you. Okay, this is, uh, I, I didn't have it on thought to start with, so I had to uh, start it out with the chicken broth. But this is, uh, I had bought some turkey mix last week, and I put this in the freezer. So I had, I waited to kind of unthaw it a little bit so I can pour this into the, in there also. I think it's unthawed enough to get enough in there to finish wetting it. So that's what I'm pouring in now. It's my uh, turkey neck broth that I had made already. May not be enough, I don't know. It's still kind of frozen, you all. I tried to uh, soak it through with hot, with hot water, but might be just a little bit frozen yet, so I thought that was going to be a nut, but it may not be. I want to get it wet enough to make sure that uh, all of the bread is soaked. So if it looks gel going in, it is because it's still frozen. Everybody, it may not do its uh, well. Maybe I pour a little bit of chicken broth in there. Into the turkey. Let it boil out like that and see this with this one here. I'm pouring a little bit of the chicken broth in there because the turkey broth is still pretty frozen. So, and when it's just coming out, it may be uh, that I had cooked the uh, turkey broth head. may have a little bit of uh, celery and, and onions cut up in what you see coming out of the jar. I'm sorry, them the girls. <laughs> Put my gloves on so I can make sure that uh, I'm getting all of my uh so that everything is uh that's why I put the gloves on so I can make sure since some of the uh, broth is was frozen and I just want to make sure all of my cornbread all the cornbread is really softened in here I really hate that I forgot to take the broth out and soak it on thorough. I didn't think about it till too late, so I'd already got started. That's why I started it with the, just a little bit of the chicken broth. I'm sure some of you I would probably be making dressing for Mother's Day because a lot of the mothers love dressing all the years or the year round. I know I like it anytime. So now I have all the thick parts, pieces of the bread all mashed down. Okay. Okay, now I think that's enough. Just a little bit. Okay, so now 
I have, I think everything, I think it's all seasoned pretty well. Well, it's seasoned pretty, pretty, seasoned pretty well. Okay, so it's all seasoned pretty well. So, I, it's not really like anything. Just a little bit more broth when I get ready to put it in the pan. Okay, y'all. She's in ready to put in the pan. We see this. Okay, I'm spraying the pan before I get ready to put the dressing in. Okay. All right, that's all I need, just a little bit. Spray. And this was three packages of cornbread mix, y'all. She didn't make her own cornbread this time. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to remember the, the link of other videos, uh, her links down there for other dresses. So that way you can, um, you, if you need a bigger pan, this will be good for Mother's Day. So this is a good start for Mother's Day, y'all. All right, we'll be back. You going to let it cook for how long? Uh, it's going to have to cook for about, uh, about 45 minutes, I think. It should be about 40, about 45 minutes. Everything is already cooked, so it doesn't take that long. And I'm going to cook it on uh, 375. Okay, y'all, we'll be back. Okay, everyone. This is my final touches of my uh, of cooking my homemade dressing today. Okay. Ooh-wee. I can't wait to turn into that. Real, what can I face this little piece? Here's the uh, uh, turkey necks. Okay. Now this is my final touches of my uh, homemade dressing and turkey necks that I cooked for dinner for today. Y'all yeah, see, I don't know if y'all can tell by the camera, but it's very, very moist. And I also have put a little bit of gravy on. Give me a spoon for a little bit of gravy on. Just a little bit. Damn. That's my homemade gravy. Can you still see it? Look at it. Oh. Can you see it? I need to put a little more. Okay. Okay, so this is the final touches that I have of my, of my uh, homemade dressing today. And I, this is some of the same dressing that I've been making in most of the uh, other dressings that I'm making. But uh, I have this with the turkey neck in here. Yeah. So, okay. All right, so I'm getting a bite now. Oh, it's so delicious. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all want off the chain? It is off the chain today. Taste. Oh, get your thing. Get your piece, get your. It is so delicious. She wants to taste it, but. I fell off a spoon on the floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're on the spoon. <laughs> Blow it. Blow it. It is so good. You all have to try this. And the way that I did it today, it was really good. It's some of my main dressing that I always cook. It is so good. I tell you, it's, it's off the chain and off the chain again and again. Nine out of one hundred. Mm. She gave me so a good. 9 out of 100, y'all. Which is, she probably made 99 out of 100, right? So good, so good. So she right. said no, 9 out of 100. I'm going to put a little piece of turkey on there for her to chew it out. So. All right, here. <laughs> yeah, just say it's good. <laughs> that is, it is delicious, you guys. You, I would not believe this is a nice cool day for this, and I love dressing anyway. Honey, honey, honey. Ooh, I can't even tell you the existence of this. All right, so, all right. 
So, I thank you all so much. And I hope you all will enjoy this. Because we are enjoying it. Neymar is enjoying it. 100%. It's delicious for today. So, we thank you. She had to dance. It's so good. God bless. Have a wonderful week. To all of my new subscribers. Everybody. My members and everyone. I love you all. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye from Miss Lena's Kitchen.